everyone, it's been, it's been a while. We are going to do another video today. Today is a very, very rare one. Um, it's going to involve this unit here, which is actually, let me see, I've already pulled it out of this one. Right here, this is the induction unit. This is what, uh, there's a coil in there. You know, you run a little magnetic field uh, and it connects to the fusing unit here and warms up that fusing roller very, very, very hot. Now, we've never seen this go out, but it may have just gone out on one of our customer's machines. But we do not know if it's this or this high voltage unit here. So on this video, I will probably be a two-step video or just two separate videos, but I'm first just gonna show you how to remove this coil unit. And we removed it out of there. I'm gonna show you on this machine. I'm gonna take it out, put it in on this machine and see if that fixes the problem. Uh, if it does, there will be no second video. But if it doesn't, I'll be doing the high voltage unit. That'll be a second video on how to remove that, which goes right there on the front. So let's get started in removing the coil unit. Induction coil. Stay tuned. First things first, let's just get our panels out of the way. So you're gonna wanna remove the transport deck, which is just two screws there. Whole transport deck's gonna come off. I'm just gonna remove the whole face. Front door, which is just a couple clips. Bottom door, and then this whole gray plate. Let's just get all that off so it looks like that.
All right, so the old induction heating unit was removed. I already threw the new one back in. I'm just finishing up the wiring here. And we're gonna go ahead and give a test and see. We're just, uh, I'll put the bare necessities back on and just power up and see what we get. And unfortunately, the C3B07 code returned, so it is not the induction heating unit. Great, but uh, I've never taken that unit off actually because it works very well. So now what we're gonna do is swap this high voltage board, uh, the board you see right here, and we will do the same thing. After I swap it, we will power on and see if the code goes away. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, and the high voltage board is in. We are turning on, cross your fingers, no code right away, but we wanna make sure it's fully warmed up because this is definitely a code that has to do with the heating element. So we wanna make sure that the copier says ready to copy and it just did. That's what it was, you guys. It was just the high voltage board right on the front of the machine. All right, so now I'm gonna do is just throw all the panels back on and reboot one more time. So enjoy the music and I'll see you at the end of the video.
All right, so we're putting on the finishing touches here. I'm just adding the transport deck back on. And I'm just going to be powering on the machine. We know that it works. So I wanted to thank you guys for bearing with me through this long video here that I definitely sped up or probably would have been about an hour long. So that was how to replace the induction heating unit and high voltage board that goes on the front of the machine for the fusing unit. So if you found this helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.